All right, so gentlemen, I need to start, okay? Raise your hand. All right. So today we're going to talk about voltage. Unfortunately, um, voltage is a bit of a difficult concept. I will do my best to explain it to you. I'm aware that many of you are going to still have to struggle with this concept. Okay, so we're going to have to work at this one. You will also be able to solve voltage problems as well when we're done, Chris. Okay. Okay, so let's begin. Anybody know who that guy is? Voltage. I think he's, I think he's called Electro. I think, isn't he? Electro. Yeah, and so if you can't do this, I'm going to send him after you today. Oh, I'm scared. If I was a superhero, that's what I would look like. Oh, he's a villain? Okay, well, I would be a villain, yeah. If you're... Okay. Let's talk about <laughs> let's talk about current. Okay, current is what we talked about before. So let's just quickly review that because it's been a while. Okay. Yeah. So a circuit, and we're going to be dealing with Chris. I'm going to need you to watch it here. Okay. I know you haven't seen Reed for a couple weeks, and you probably want to get all cut up. I've seen, seen him the other day. day. Oh, did you? I've seen him all this Saturday. Okay, so then we're good. Okay, so I need you to watch it here. You got a pen? A pencil? So you need one now. <laughs> Reed, don't start a conversation. Chris is just mad because my speed was crap. Anyone else need a pen before I get going here? My team's out or flat, bro. All right, Grady, you're good? Pencil, pen, Grady? Okay, you know what? I don't think I can leave the three guys together. I'm prepared for this class, Mr. Okay, if you guys can handle this one, find an alternate speaker. All right, okay? I do want to let you sit together. Okay, so a circuit is when a wire is connected to the terminals of a source, making a complete path, right? What happens when the path is not there? It is a. What happens to, elect to the electron flow? It will cut off. And it it will just go won't go, right? Flow. There has to be a path. It's like if your water pipes are burst underneath your sink, you're not going to get water in your sink. It's going to, well, you're going to get water in your basement, right? right? If you get water in your sink, just as much pressure. Right? Well, I guess that's true. Okay? But it doesn't work for electricity. So electric current is a flow of charge. Which charge is it? Is it negative or is it positive? Does anyone remember? It is always negative. It's negative charge flowing. Okay, that's a current. Does anyone remember what we measure current in? What unit? No? Current is measured in amps, right? You are. Current is measured in amps, Chris. Well done. <laughs> Do you remember this formula? I equals Q over T. Q over T. Because I post all my lessons to YouTube, so people are away like you were, and you can look back and uh, listen to them. So you won't miss anything. Reach the dog. Yeah, cool people. Reach the dog because you said that. Chris, you gotta talk loudly. Okay. Hello, Charlie. 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 If you're gonna be like that, you're gonna be asked to leave. You understand? Thank you. Okay, read, read, read. I need you to listen to me. Don't initiate a conversation with Charlie, please. You might remember this formula. I equals Q over T. What does the I stand for? Charlie. No, I. I is current. Current. Q is charge. T is prime. You said I. 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 Okay. The higher the current, I'm not going to get done. You get right? faster. Okay. The charges are passing. And then you're going to have to come out less. So I'm going to have to repeat. No, people are doing it. But well, we're not going to get it fast. We're not going to get done. We need. I can't. Not good to do it faster because then. But I can't stop every ten seconds. To ask you guys to stop talking. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll just ask you guys to leave, and then you guys can come in at lunch and I'll repeat the TV. I'll make it happen. 
The higher the current in a wire, the faster the charges are passing through. When we get on the computers in the very near future, you're actually going to see the electrons moving fast. So higher current read means a greater uh, flow of electrons, right? Like 4 amps means more faster electrons than 2 amps. So the higher the current, the faster the charges are passing through. Okay, that's our quick review about current. Symbol is I, right? You got that? Yeah. Shut up. Yep, Chris. I just seen that. <laughs> Units for current are? Amps. Cole, I need your table listing there, please. Units are amps. The amount of current that flows past a point per second. That's what an amp is. Did I not just give you a pencil? I haven't told you this yet. When you measure current, you measure with either what's called an ammeter or a galvanometer, and it depends on how much you've got. It's kind of like measuring in meters or kilometers. You're measuring like from here to Winnipeg, would you measure it in meters? No. No. Okay. You measure well, it in miles, right? Do you even live in America? You're measuring from me to grade, you would measure it in meters. I'd say uh, I would okay. say me because Maybe. meters are metric and we live in Canada. <laughs> And actually, we have the metric system in Canada. No. Nope. Yes, we do. No. What if we're getting from meters? Not centimeters or inches. Now, these are actually not the units. These are not the units, you guys. These are the devices. Okay, and I actually have a couple back there somewhere, I think. Okay? You should know those words. Put a star beside those. That's something you need to know. Put a star beside it, Reed. Put a star beside that. Those are the devices that you use to measure current. An ammeter, grady, or a galvanometer. There's a picture of one right there. Okay, ammeter, galvanometer. Okay, let's talk about voltage. Voltage is nice and easy. The symbol for voltage is a capital V. It's simple. V stands for voltage. How many uh, how many volts in a skidoo battery there? Uh, 12. 12 volts? Oh, oh, volts. Is it 12 volts? Yeah. 12 like a car battery, right? Yeah. Same idea. 12 car, 12 volts. What does that mean, Reed? 12 volts? Like, what's the difference between a 12 volt and a... Uh, like a double A battery, like this kind of battery. More amps. More amps or more voltage? No, not the same thing. Someone's got to know though, right? So you can start your skidoo. In your skidoo, you got 12 volts. This is one and a half volts. So if you took 12 of those, you could earn these. Yeah, more or less. It wouldn't last long, right? If you took 12 of those, you might be able to start. I'm not going to be able to start. I'm not going to be able to start. The units for voltage are volts. It's easy. Units for voltage is volts. Easy stuff. Okay. Here is the big idea. Here's the big idea. Voltage. Voltage is used to describe the amount of the amount of potential difference in energy. And as Reed after pointed out, this little battery is not going to run to do. Right? Not enough voltage. Not enough potential energy in this battery. Now, Chris, that EFI will turn over one time and it won't even go. How would that work? If not, it looks like not only EFI. Yeah, why would you just why would you just 
Uh, we're going to touch one side to the negative, one side to the loss, and we work. And then you are We're going to make sure to pull. And then you have the back of the connector. Okay. I'll show you. Okay. So, this is the key idea. It's the amount of potential difference in energy. Okay? You measure them with a voltmeter. Okay, when you get onto the computers in a day or so, you're going to be pulling out little uh, simulated voltmeters and going to be measuring volts. Measuring with a voltmeter. There's a picture of one. Okay. Do you have this picture on the next page? Yeah, I had a little sparkly one thing. I was waving it over there to shock me that one was across the room. It's so funny. You can just walk the butt. Okay, this picture here. It hurts. Chris? Yeah, I'm right in here. This picture shows low current, low voltage. Okay, that's me lifting weights in my junior high years. You're not lifting them, though. No, I know. Thank you. Thank you very much. Each electron, so each one of the weightlifters, has little energy. And there's only a few of them. Okay, so this is low voltage, low voltage, little energy, low current, a few of them. Okay? Equal. We're talking about a little tiny AA battery. Okay? Low total energy. How much energy do I need to run my little remote control? Double A battery. Nothing, right? Double A battery. Two of them. No. Not very much. Okay. This one is? What's high current, low voltage going to look like? You have the picture, right? What's different? Lots of them, but still low energy. Lots of them, little energy. Okay? So once again, low voltage, little energy, high current, lots of them. There's lots of guys not doing very much. Okay? The picture is key. On the test, I'm going to pick one of those pictures and you tell me what it means. We're going to call this moderate total energy. Because we got lots of little guys. Moderate total energy. What was the first one? Hey? Yeah, I think so, yeah. What? What was the first one? The last one? Oh, let's... The last one? What's wrong with me? Read, read. Yeah. Lee, I need you to listen to that. Let's talk. Shut up. Brandon, please no. Don't even start. The first one is low total energy. How come? There's only three of them, and they're not very good with a lot of energy to begin with. Okay. Then there's me in high school after lifting in junior high. Okay? I don't wish. Yeah, I, miss, I, I got a lot of sun. Well, eat a lot of oranges. This is low current, high voltage. Why is it high voltage? Because you got it Big and strong, lots of energy. Why is it low current? Because there's not very many of them. Right? Lots of energy, high voltage, low current, only a few. Are the pictures sort of making sense to you? Give me a nod or a no. Yeah. Grady, are the pictures making sense to you? Definitely. Yeah? What's the total energy here going to be, Chris? Chris? Grady, I'm talking to him. Grady, Grady. you got to stop talking, man. Grady, are we going to have a problem today? Definitely not. Thank you. I do not want to. I just need a little more paying attention. This is moderate total energy. Why so moderate? There's only a few of them. How do we get lots of total energy? The next one. How do we get that? We're going to have high current, high voltage. Lots of them, lots of strong guys, right? This is high current, high voltage. 
This would be like your car battery. Okay. How many amps does a scooter battery read? Oh. No, that's volts. Like, no. 120. 120 amps? Oh, that seems like a lot. There's like 18. <laughs> look at it. Why don't you? When you know what? Do me a favor at all tonight. I want you to tell me what the volume is. Let me get that IU 24 out. Just search it up. It is. Yeah. Oh, did you <laughs> That's what it says in my old article. No, not necessarily. No, I remember that. This one is, Chris, high total energy. Okay? Lots of them, and they're all really sharp. Oh, there. Right there, isn't there? Oh, on the side, maybe? Oh, right underneath, yes. That page is important. If you got a highlighter, highlight it, star. I expect you to recognize those pictures. I'll pick one, Brady, and I'll say, which one is this? You'll have to tell me. High current, low voltage. High voltage, low current. Okay, that's what I'm going to expect. Okay. Now, pay close attention here, especially those of you that are going on taking physics. Okay? This is how we explain voltage. When I lift something up, if I take Reed's book and I lift it up into the air, right, and then I ask him to put his head underneath, and I drop it, it's going to hurt. And in fact, the higher I lift it, the more it's going to hurt, right? The higher I lift it, the more what is in your head. The higher I lift it, the more what does it gain? More energy. More energy. Okay? All right. Relax. The more energy it gets, which means that when it hits the ground, it's going to be going faster. Same idea. Same idea with voltage. No. You gotta stop this process. Okay? Not you this time. Okay. Take it to as you guys. Seriously, we're gonna have to separate. Is that what you want? No. Okay, so then give me 20 minutes, and then you'll have time to talk and schedule and as much as you want. I don't care, but I need 20 minutes. One, the first 20 minutes of class, I need to go pick up. We're going to do some worksheets and stuff, and you guys can talk. I don't care, but when I'm talking, I need you listening. And so do those people. They can't listen if I'm always talking to you. Okay? It's pretty simple. I'm not asking a lot. I really not. All right, let's try again. So when I raise something up, it gains what we say potential energy. The higher it goes, the more potential energy it has. Okay, so in a battery, same idea as in voltage. You have to separate the charges. Like lifting the object, this creates potential energy that is released when the circuit is complete. So in a battery, the positives and the negatives are pulled apart, and then when you connect the circuit, they're allowed to flow. And big batteries, like scooter batteries, they're set, there's a lot of them, they're separated far apart, they have a lot of energy. How do you get charged back in your scooter battery? Like, does it ever run out? Alternator. Alternator, what does that do? Recharges. What does that mean? When it's running it. It's like the van der Graaff thing, and it just builds up, charging it back. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's almost identical to the van der Graaff. Because you're moving, right, your alternator does what? Generates power. Generates electricity. It's actually turning a wire inside a magnet, which generates electricity and recharges the battery. That's how it works. Good. Okay, here's your new formula for the day. Here's your new formula for the day. Where it says formula, you can write it in. It's V equals E divided by Q. V equals E divided by Q. V is voltage, Grady. E is energy. And I haven't talked to you about energy yet. Put the formula right here. Energy is measured in joules, and Q is charged and it's measured in coulombs. Okay, all named after science students. So it could be like a coulomb. Pardon? Six if, if you go on and become a famous scientist, Jonathan, and I'm still teaching, I'll be more than happy to call something measured in cohems. I doubt that I'll be still teaching at that point. I'll probably be slurping my soup in a retirement home somewhere. Dribbling all over myself. 
Will you come visit me, Jonathan? Oh. V, thank you. Thank you. V is voltage measured in volts. E is energy measured in joules. Q is charge measured in coulombs. Here's the other two versions of the formula. E is equal to Q times V. Write that in there with the other versions. E is equal to Q times V. And Q is equal to E divided by V. Every formula is going to have like three versions, right? In grade 11 and 12 physics, I'm going to expect you to be able to just do those on your own. Yeah, I have to take physics you do that. not. You do not even have to take science in grade 11. What? Oh, Grade 9 and 10 science, and then you're done. And then what does that qualify you to do for the rest of your life? Not be a physicist. Well, be a mechanical. Be a mechanical. I'll see you in grade 11. I'll see you in grade 11, right? All right. Okay. Here's the chart so far. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hand you, you can fill this chart in right here. Charlie? Chris? You can, you can fill this chart in right here. This is everything you need to know so far, okay? Now I'm going to hand you another yellow sheet. This is the one that's going to go in your portfolio, okay? So we'll get this one down here, and then I'll hand this one out. This one's going to have everything on it. Actually, I may not even have it to you today. It's going to go in your portfolio. It's going to be there for your test for you. So current, symbol I, measured in amps, the unit symbol is A, there's the formula. Everything you need to know. It won't be for a little while yet, but four more weeks. So the test, yes. We'll have at least one more quiz before then to see where you're, where you're at. Is the test like around the final day of our science? Yeah. Yeah. All right. We have to meet the other science teachers and figure out the date, okay. where we're at. Okay, so that... Is this a valuable piece of information? Definitely. Absolutely. Don't lose this. Don't leave it on the table when you leave, because some of you were doing that. This is almost valuable. Shut up, Brandon. Notice here. Look at this one here has got. What do you notice? Yes. WTF? That one we're not going to deal with here. Okay. Uh, he just has to find that I'm Yeah, he's working at large What the hell? There's a mouse on there. Please don't touch it. Okay. On your page there, on your page here, you've got at the top, Charlie, pass to yourself, please. At the top of this worksheet, Cole, you've got the steps, right? To solve problems, front page. Yeah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. State the variables, given. Numbers and the unknown variables. See those steps right there? 
Those are the steps that I want you to follow. See right there, Reed? Here's the example, right here. Okay, let's have a look at this one. Go look at that first sheet. Guys, please. Please. Okay? No, just check the doll and Okay? Find that example on the worksheet there on the booklet one. And here's how we do it. A battery uses, you're going to have to be able to do this, so you got to learn how to do it. It's divide by it. It's divide. Oh, I realize. <coughs> how do I know that 45 is the energy? It says 45 of energy. Joules of energy. Joules of energy. With a charge of 15C. Now, what's this word mean right here? Okay. Celsius. Chris, Chris, I'm almost done. Current. Celsius. No, what's that word that I underlined there mean, read? Electric. Electric potential is another word for? Voltage. Voltage. Electric potential, Kaylee, and voltage. I'm really fearful, you guys, of this test. Because some of you have no idea what's going on. And I'm not sure what I can do to make you listen. Move them. There's only so many places. Okay? You do understand if you don't get grade 9 science, you start over again, right? Yes. It's not going to be any fun. You're going to be in there with a bunch of grade 9 when you're in grade 10. Can oh. it? Oh. Yeah. 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 No? Species Great. <laughs> I need you guys to listen. It's so important. Okay? You don't want to have to do this over again. And I don't want to explain it over again. What is the electric potential of the battery? So we're solving for what? We're going to write out the letters here. I've got my energy is 45. My charge is 15. And I'm solving for V. Okay? Do I want you to write the formula? Yes, you need to write the formula. It shows me that you understand which formula to use for. Okay, so I need that. I need that. Substitute your numbers in, Mason. And then what, what operation is this? Add, subtract, multiply, divide. divide. It's divide. Okay, and then write your answer. If you want to put a box around it, underline it, that's good. Notice how the equal signs all line up. That's important to me. The neatness of it is important. Okay? If I showed you grade 12 work, You'll understand why the neatness is important because they're doing like eight and nine step problems. Okay? You guys are starting off here. Okay? Does that make sense? Is there a have I explained myself okay here? Yeah. At least the people that are listening? She wasn't listening. I think she was. Okay. How about you guys do this as a little trial? Because there's lots of room here. There's lots of room here. What? I'm done. There's lots of room here. I'd like you to try this example too, and then I'm going to show you the answer. Okay? Try example number two. Try example number two. Where's your other one? Oh, I got one. So you didn't write that enough, though. <laughs> Try example number two and then I'll give you the answer. Try example number two. Try example number two. Try number two, you guys. Try number two. On the side. Here, here, here. There's no C. Oh, what do you Try mean? Try number two first. Try example number two. It's the same thing as the Yes. Both and cool. Oh, I thought the cool was on the No. Oh, it's the B. 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 It's
Okay, try that one, Charles. You don't get it. Nope. So what's the form? Okay, identify what we have. How many joules of energy? So E equals what? We don't know. Put a question mark. E equals question mark. What E? E stands for? You just did it over here, Charles. E is, you didn't write these down. E stands for energy, man. J of energy, so. That's why it's important. Listen, pay attention. Yeah, what is Q stand for? C. So Q equals 25. Q stands for church. Do you try example number two? Don't get it. All right, I'm going to show you example number two. Here we go. Devices down. Pay attention. Read, read. You just said you don't get it. I'm going to show you. So ask my fellow member of my classmates. Okay. Okay. Did he? No. Okay. So then you should listen to me. Here's example two. How do we do this? How many joules of energy? We don't know the E. Mason. We don't know the E from a 9 volt battery. 9 volt, that is our voltage. And the charge is 25 coulombs. Q equals 25. Now, some of you probably just copied it down. No. And you think that getting the answer is good enough, and it's not. Because you need to be able to do it in another situation. I'm trying to figure it out. Okay. I'm showing you how to do it. <laughs> Just listen. You guys haven't learned how to listen. Why didn't you just say not straight gas yes, without trying to figure it out? No, just listen to me. I'm explaining it, Chris. Okay. I'm showing you the steps. That's what I do up here. I write down E equals question mark. I know the voltage is 9. It's a 9-volt battery. Q is 25. Okay? Which formula has E in it, Cole? Which one has E equals? E equals which formula has E in it? E that one, right? E equals Q times V. You gotta pick your formula. Q times V. Charlie, why did I put 25 here? Because what? Huh? 25 charge. 25 is not is the charge. 25 is the charge. And the V is the 9. 25 times 9, 225 joules. So volts times the charge volts times charge equals equals that right to us. Okay. Now this is the last thing I'm gonna say. Listen carefully. Read. I need 30 more seconds. Read. Okay, you now have a little worksheet. It's got five questions on it. Right? Are the answers there? They are not. Okay? However, there is a link for the answers, and there is a QR code as well. Your, your job is to figure out how to do this, okay, and practice it. When you're done, bring it to me. I'll do a check and you'll get the stamp. Okay? Go. All out 28 seconds. So we just do the sheet. Do that sheet and bring it to me.